Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about potential exam changes to the AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator exam. Now I'm gonna go ahead, preempt this by saying it doesn't seem to be a lot of changes, although there's at least one significant change. So in this video, we're gonna compare the current requirements with the future requirements, and we're going to then discuss uh, how you can change your study plan to adapt. So just today, Microsoft changed the AZ-104 page to say that the English language version of this exam will be updated on October 27th. So they give one month notice generally. So today is September 27th. And so we have 30 days now to prepare for these changes. You're not going to need the full 30 days to prepare, luckily. Sometimes the exams such as AZ-104 can undergo minor updates, um, but in this case, this is not the case. So the percentage of the exam objectives, there are five exam objectives and they're broken up between 10 to 15% all the way up to 20 to 25%. But that hasn't changed. So the, the objectives themselves and the percentages are still the same breakdown. In order to see the changes, we're going to click on this AZ-104 study guide link from that landing page, which will take you to this document. So Microsoft has changed the way that they communicate changes. Uh, there's a lot more contents now into this uh, study guide, including stuff about passing score, the sandbox they provide, how to renew, etc. cetera. Um, we're gonna skip all of that, and we're going to look at the existing exam requirements, which is in the first section, and I'm comparing them with the future exam skills, which starts on page seven. Now you'll see that they do leave a little change log saying that the audience profile has been updated minorly, the Azure AD section updated minorly, and container section updated minorly. So um, skipping ahead, we're looking at the Azure AD section. Well, the only change that I could find to the AD section, and please correct me if you find something else, is the title. So formerly they called it Azure Active Directory with Azure AD in brackets, and now it just says Azure AD. So this is uh, hardly worth mentioning. I don't even know if it's worth calling this a minor change. It's really not a change. All of these subsections from users and groups, licenses, administrative units, all the way down uh, have not changed. All right, none of the other topics in this section have changed, neither the storage section have not changed as well. We get down to the uh, compute section and we get into the containers subsection. So the one, the biggest change or the only change really to this exam is the brand new Azure Container Apps service. So that has been added to the AZ-104 exam. They've talked about container instances and container uh, Kubernetes services, but now Microsoft has a sort of a standalone uh, container apps service, which is similar to container instances in how easy it is, um, much more uh, complex, similar to Kubernetes, and actually more like web apps in terms of having developer tools and integrations and things like that. So container apps is its own new thing, and this is being added to the AZ-104 exam. As you would expect, I will record a video for Azure Container Apps and add it to my AZ-104 course on Udemy. So go and check that out. The rest of the exam requirements to my knowledge have not changed and so not worth uh, really comparing them side by side. So as you can see, extremely minor changes, really just one new topic added to the exam. Um, so this will take effect in 30 days. You have 30 days to get to know the container apps. And again, I will add this to the, to the course. Nothing has been removed. And so there's not uh, gonna be too much changes in any of the videos. Well, that's it. I don't wanna waste your time. This has been the changes to the AZ-104 uh, Azure Administrator exam. My name is Scott Duffy from Get Cloud Skills. If you are interested in labs in order to be able to uh, work with your AZ-104, get some hands-on practice. If you go to getcloudskills.com, you will see that I have, uh, for one thing, all labs available, which is 700 plus Azure, AWS, Linux, cybersecurity labs, 
and 12 months of access and includes the Azure account that you use to access them. So you log into the uh, Azure account that's been provided to you. You don't use your own account. You don't need to use the free account. Um, this is labs, including Azure access. If you're only interested in the AZ-104 set, scroll on a little bit here, we can see that AZ-104 has over 60 uh, Azure admin practice labs that are more tuned to this exam. Only comes with three months of access, including an Azure account, which should be plenty of time for you to study and pass this exam. Uh, but it's of course a lot cheaper than the all labs option. Anyways, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for checking this out. Also like the video, hit the subscribe button for more videos talking about Azure certification and Microsoft Azure topics in general.